was poppin'. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that. What's poppin' T Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I am here with a brand new behind the scenes T video. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously. So if that works for you, then let's get into this video. But before we start, I want to remind you all that today is the last day that my book, It Was All a Dream, will be available for free download at amazon.com yes that's right you can download my book it was all a dream for free but today is the last day it is the sequel to my best-selling novel dream so head over to my amazon storefront and download your copy of it was all a dream for free the link to my amazon storefront is in the description box now let's get into this video so you guys we all know that on this past week's episode of love and hip-hop family reunion Union that Tokyo Vanity arrived and she ended up getting into it with Carly Red Spice and Jen from Love and Hip Hop New York. At the end of the episode, it resulted in Tokyo popping Carly in the face. And next week episode will show the aftermath of that, which will be bananas. So Tokyo took to her Instagram live like everybody does child and gives us all the behind the scenes tea on what she says really happened and she comes with receipts after that Jen then responds with her own behind the scenes tea you guys so take a look at what everybody got to say you know just trying to surpass like things like that but one thing I can't stand to lie on me all right so all right let's start with who y'all want me to start with first like who y'all want me to clear up first would y'all like me to start with carly first then go to spice then go to jen or would y'all like me to address it in all that happen y'all want me to go jen um spice car jen carly spice how y'all want it to go really i'll address the jen first because first i don't even know you so why is you even talking to me right so all right starting with jen right because a lot of people are saying oh she did too much she did too much with jen first of all right y'all i'm a grown-ass woman and y'all know how i give it up i didn't even check jen the way that i give it up and i really check her. like i checked her on some like relax chill out like at the end of the day we all grown right so jen thing was all right so first of all y'all let me tell y'all how it was going so it was me trick and everybody who y'all seen in my little corner, me, Trick, Chrissy, KK, Shay, Scrap, Alexis, bitch, we is joked out in the corner, y'all. Like, y'all, we really having a ball in the corner, y'all. We joked out. Y'all, we so joked out in the corner that Jen had to keep saying, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, to say something. So, y'all, if it was quiet and nobody was having a good time, and if, if it was quiet and nobody was having a good time and, and nobody, nobody was, you know what I'm saying? Doing, doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have had to say, excuse me. Correct y'all. If, if it was quiet out there and it was so boring and nobody was interacting, then it would have been quiet. Bitch, you had to say, excuse. Let me start cursing before we get black. Girl, you had to say, you had to say, excuse me. To interrupt our fun, our party, and what we doing over there in the corner. So, yeah, I felt some type of way because, first of all, you one of the only people here with a mate. So, there's no reason you should be in Jamaica feeling no type of way. If you boy, go upstairs and fuck. Go suck dick, bitch. Go swing off the balcony, girls. All expenses paid. Well, what is you worrying about us out here for? But you see what it is is when them cameras come on. People want to be relevant. They they want to have something to say, y'all. And this, y'all know I'm not like that. I don't give it up like that. Like, but when them cameras come on, they turn into the Twilight Zone. People want to have something to say. Jim, bitch, you ain't said nothing the whole trip. And all you could think to muster up and say is to come to our side. The people who talking, having a good time, joking and laughing, bitch, you come interrupting us. But it's because all them hoes be want to be down with spice. Them hoes be want to be down with spice. They be wanting to be down with, with Carly and them. They feel like whoever been there the longest, whoever got seniority, that's who dick they got to suck. And that's not my thing. So Jen gets her ass up and interrupt me and my friends laughing and having a good motherfucking time and tell us, 
Oh, we need to drink. We need to have no bitch. We having a great time over here. Wait, y'all saying what's wrong? Is what's wrong? Y'all can't see me. It's um pausing because I don't repeat myself. So if I'm going and y'all don't hear, and I ain't gonna repeat myself. So let's let's get this clear now. Cause y'all know that's my biggest pet peeve. Y'all know I'll cut this bitch off. I just keep repeating myself. Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? Is it moving smoothly? They saying they all right. So whatever. All right, look. So that was my problem with Jen. So if y'all look like I ain't even really checked Jen like that, cause girl, I don't know you and girl, shut up. Like you, you just talking, cause you got lips at this point. Like she had to really, y'all. She had to really get us to calm down. That's how joked out me tricking them was in the corner. Like she had to, she had to get us to calm down to to be like, um, you guys, we're not having a good time. No, y'all not having a good time. You not having a good time. Your dude and your dude was having a good time. He was all in our face, laughing and talking and woo woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Like you wasn't having a good time because Spice and Carly and all them and and Amada, Lynette, whatever her name is, all them was trying to be mean girls and be and, and Esther Lee and all them and be clicked up in the corner and all that. Not Esther because Esther cool. She just y'all know she's just being a mix. She whatever. So you know what I'm saying? So she just she just came out of nowhere and she said something to me. So y'all got that, right? Y'all y'all got that, right? So that's why I had to check Jim because Jim, we're having a great time over here and you trying to get TV time. So you getting on TV like trying to check all us about we need to have a good time. Bitch, we're having a great time. You need to sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up talking to me cuz I'm a grown ass woman. I don't need no hoe to tell me to have no drinks. Bitch, if you want us to play games and stuff, just ask us. Just say, hey, would y'all like to play a game? Y'all want to play? Y'all want to play Jenga? Like, you could have asked us to play something, but instead, like, you get up and you bucking at us and you talking to us like we children. And I'm not nobody child here. All right? So that's why Jen got checked. Off to the next one. Um, Y'all want me to start with Carly or Spice, the next one, right? So first of all, I'll just do them together because they always seem to be a package deal, right? So if y'all remember, Spice, from the time she touched TV, from the time she um got over here from Jamaica, from the time she got on TV, she always has had a problem with me, like trying to start with me, trying to like just just always. And I'm not no bitch who play victim. I don't have to play victim. I would slap the fuck out any one of them hoes. It ain't nothing for me to play victim about. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, furthermore, y'all know I'm not the one on the franchise known for lying. Y'all are. I don't do no lying. I tell the truth. And I called all y'all hands and asked y'all, did y'all want to fight? So if I said something as small as the vets needed to leave the show, Spice, why you saying something? Bitch, you entered the franchise when I did. You came when I came. So you ain't no more vet than me. Right? All right. So anyways, what it was was, first of all, y'all, I didn't know I had no problem with these girls. That's That was my first issue. Being flown all the way across the world with some people who was just cool with you 30 minutes ago. And then when y'all start filming the scene, all of a sudden these hoes don't like you. Bitch, are y'all in the twilight zone? Are y'all crazy or retarded? Which one of them? Because y'all was all just talking to me in my face, happy to see me. Bitch, I always wanted the dirty wine and everything else on me when I first landed. What's up, SB? Y'all wanted to y'all wanted to do all that when I first landed. But then when the cameras come on... I see Carly. She like, oh, yeah, we got to talk. I said, bitch, no, we don't. I don't know if they showed that because I ain't watch it. I said, no, we don't. If you want to talk, we can talk now. That's when we was at the carnival because you don't have no problem with me. Stop have, like, stop trying to have an issue with me like, because you don't have no issue with me. Right? So hold on because y'all know I got my receipts. These hoes be talking about they got receipts, but I got receipts, right? So y'all give me a second. I should I really should have got these before I got on here, but hold on. I really had an issue. I ain't know me and Spice had an issue. I ain't know me and nobody had an issue because everybody was just sucking my dick. Like when we was out, like before we went to Jamaica, every time I seen y'all, like everybody was on dick. Then like we get out of town and all of a sudden for camera time, everybody got this miscellaneous random problem with me. And I just didn't understand that. Right? Alright. So on the show, y'all remember. Um, I walked up to them first. I, I tried to be calm. I'm like, look, so what the problem is? Cause I can see the tension. These hoes mugging me. They having a problem with me, bro. I walked off set three times, bro. I walked off set three times and told my producers like, Hey, what's, what's going on? Like, why everybody acting so weird? Like, why they being mean to me? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, we just started filming this and all of a sudden 
everybody, everybody, bitch, bitch, they ain't got me looking down bad, bitch. Everybody and they mama favorite for me, bitch. It's only a few people who said, like, they agreed with Spice or Carly. Bitch, got your mom looking down bad. Them hoes could never have me looking down bad. I slept the fuck out either one of them. So, anyways, yeah, so, Carly, so, I see Carly. I'm like, hey, Carly. So, y'all, this Carly, this Carly trying to trying to get her storyline together at the carnival. She she tried to, like, she didn't speak back. Like, it was like, oh, we need to talk. I said, no, we don't. What do we need to talk about, Carly? I, I just seen you. Like, what do we need to talk about now? Oh, no, we going to talk. We going to talk. All right, boom. We go to the next scene. We get to the next scene. They, like, um... We get to the next scene, they mugging me, they like, you know what I'm saying, all that. So you saw, like, I walked up to them and I asked them, like, you know what I'm saying, what they, you know, what their problem is and it's like that, you know. I asked them, I asked them what their problem was and stuff like that. They like, um, don't nobody have no problem with you, don't nobody have no problem with you. Carly got the problem with you. But see, this is what they do. Like, Spice is really the one with the issue. But she be trying to make Carly say something so she could fight me and look like she's saving her friend. But yeah, not today, bitch. I checked that hoe and told that hoe, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Who you talk, you, like, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Like, y'all not doing this today. You not doing this today. You not about to make Carly have an issue with me and you the one who get to fight me. Cause though I will bet the fuck out you, bitch, you, you know from the first altercation I had with you. Girl, you know you're not tipping on you know I'm not scared of you. Like, you know this. You know this. If you don't know nothing else, girl, you know I'm not scared of you, girl. You know that. So, um, you know, usually she try to make Carly say the little one too, so she could jump up and be the one that fight. Because Carly ain't going to bust a grape in a Welch's fight. So, I was like, so I told her, like, I'm not talking to you. Shut up. And then I went on to the next person. So when I went to the, I, I know Carly, you the one who got the problem. So you the one who gonna have a problem today. You're not doing that no more. You're not gonna keep having problems with me and trying to make other people fight me. You got the problem. You got the problem. So you, you the one who gonna have a problem today. So she says, nobody got a problem with you. Nobody got a problem with you, but Carly. I'm like, Carly. Carly Red, Carly Red that's sitting right here. What problem could she ever have with me? Girl, you can't have no problem with me. So, she like, um, her problem is that I said in my, and see, they edited that out. She said I said it in my security meeting. Y'all, the security meeting for Love and Hip Hop is a meeting with the head of security and like the lawyer of Love and Hip Hop. There's no execs there. There's nobody who can alter nobody being on the show or nothing. Why would I tell at a security meeting that I want, that I want somebody to be off the show? And I'm a cast member just like y'all. Nobody has that power. This is not this this is not basketball wise where Shoney could kick you off the show and say thank you for your services. No. This is this is not that. We're all employed by Viacom. Like, girl, please. So, anyways, here go my receipts, right? So Carly said her problem started with me from something I said in 2019, right? So that was in 2019. So y'all know I didn't get off of Love and Hip Hop to 2020. So, you had 2019 to say something to me about it. You seen me a million times. You had 2020 to say something to me about it. You seen me a million times. You worked with me in 2020. I even, um, um, then, then 2021, you could have said something to me. I, I worked with you in 2021. Multiple times you could have said something. I, Carly, for my birthday, I, I just seen you for my birthday, not this year. But last year, 2021, you could have said something in 2021 if you had an issue with me, right? But here it is in 2022, when we filming, all of a sudden, you got this, you got something to say to me because you need a storyline. You you needed something. So that's why I kept saying, like, okay, what's the problem? Go ahead, make it up. Go ahead, make it up. Now, if you look, right? Now, if you look, here go my receipts, right? Oh, wait, can I just send this? Oh, I can add the picture. Hold on. So here we go. All right, y'all. Share photos with share lots of videos with. Okay, yeah, yes. All right, y'all. So if y'all look at this picture right here, let me cut the comments off. If y'all look at this picture right here, right, y'all. This was me and Carly last year. Twenty. 
21. It's 2022. This was me and Carly, September 28, 2021. Go to my Instagram. Look at the outfit. That was that. That's me and Carly last year. So, bitch, if you got a problem from something I said in 2019, if I supposedly said this, why, why you didn't been said? You had since 2019. You reached. You reach, bitch, you know you ain't got no problem with me. But what it is, is it's a whole with you that don't like me and y'all hoes is scary. So what you did was, you know, you you bit the bait. And that's why you got your ass popped, right? I want everybody to help me wish Tokyo. Hey! hey. A happy birthday. It's your birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. Yeah, bitch, because y'all hoes is lying on me. I got flown across the country. To come hang out with some old bitches who don't even like me. Like, and, and like, I think what bothered me the most was because all in all, y'all, I keep it gangster with y'all. Y'all know I keep it gangster with y'all about anything. Bitch, that shit hurt my feelings. That shit hurt my feelings like a motherfucker. Like, you getting flown out here thinking you about to film, get a check. You thinking you about to film, get a check, and hang out with some, with some people or whatever. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like, these girls got an issue with you. Like, I was happy as hell, like, to see them. I ain't seen them in so long. And then just all of a sudden, out the blue, when we started filming, they, like, they they just out of nowhere, like, got this issue with me. Like, I don't, I don't rock like that. I don't rock like that because out of anything, if you got a problem with me, you could just say that. I'm not no, I'm not no all right ass bitch. I don't be in hoes face and all that. That's, that's not what I do. I don't have that to do. So... It was just, it was just weird to me, bro. Like Rocky, man, this girl right here, Rocky, you could cut your camera off. Rocky and tell Carly, like she, she do, she do certain little things for me. You know what I'm saying? She do um editing all my bags and that. I don't know if you want to come up here, Rocky, but you can cut your camera off if you do, and you can just answer this question. Rocky, when I was getting ready to go on this trip, how was my spirits? Wasn't I very like? hyper and excited and talking about how happy i am to see like my old castmates and stuff like that and how like how much fun we was gonna have in this day and the third right I, I was telling you like how much like i couldn't i couldn't wait to like come and film and you know it's good like going back on tv i'm nervous about going back on tv and stuff like that because i don't really know how like people will perceive me and stuff now like you remember, right, Rocky? Yes. If you yes. going to do a live addressing somebody, do it correctly. Let me show you how to do it. Let me show you how it's done. If I'm coming up on a live to address a bitch, right? Like you went live yesterday, so-called to address me, Spice, and Cardi. If I'm going live to addressing a bitch, I'm doing exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm pinning you. I'm having everybody in this comment at you because I want you to know I'm talking to you. I don't want you to see my live later on. I want you to see my live now while it's live in action. It's live. It's spicy. It's hot. It's hot. Like, pull up on me. I post that two hours ago for you to get ready. Because, you know, some bitches don't like to go on live because if their hair not done or they or they need to get beautified or they wasn't dressed. Y'all see me. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know I'll be on my live looking. However, nails missing, eyelashes, some of them off, some of them on. I don't give a fuck. Take me as who I am and that's it. So this is what really happened on the show. The fact that it matter for her to go and go on live like, oh, Jen, I don't even know this bitch. First of all, you knew that I was Jen from Love and Hip Hop New York. Let's get that. Let's not get that twisted. You knew that from episode one. Right. Let's answer that. Number two, for you to sit there and say, oh, Bitches want to, oh, bitches want 15 minutes of fame. They want to be on the storyline. First of all, boo, boo I came with a storyline. I came with a storyline. You said it out your motherfucking mouth. Oh, she got her man here. Why is she worried about other, da, 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 da. Bottom line is this. Yes, I had my man there, my husband to be there, right? Oh, you should be sucking his dick and wigging off the basket. I already did that, done that, wiped my mouth off, came down, said a party with y'all. At the end of the day, this is not a vacation, my love. This wasn't a vacation. This was a family reunion. This was a family reunion, which means, darling, to interact with other people, everybody that's there. Which means, darling, 
Get your ass up off the couch and have some fun. What the fuck? What is wrong with me saying, let's have a little fun? What's wrong with me saying? And then you're going to sit there and say that, oh, we was Kiki and Kiki. That's cap. That's a fucking lie. I don't know what kind of family reunion you used to. Or you said pull out a board game. In my family reunions, we getting fucked up. We doing the Soul Train line. We fucking dancing salsa. We dropping like it's hot. We fucking even playing tag. We doing whatever the fuck to have fun. We interacting with each other. You said that y'all was kiki in the... First of all, as y'all go along and watch the show, as the show goes on, as the show goes on, you're going to see, look around, look behind y'all, look around. These bitches, half of these bitches, first of all, was acting very boring in the beginning because they didn't like each other. I didn't know that the bitches had beef, right? I ain't know. <laughs> I'm there, like, oh, we lit. Straight New York style, straight we lit. Let's turn the fuck up. I didn't know who got beef with who got beef. From my knowledge, Carly, Spice, and all of them, y'all were friends. That's what I thought. Coming in there. When I seen Tokyo come the next day, because you didn't come day one, boo. When I seen Tokyo come, I, when she pulled up, I was like, oh, oh, okay, Tokyo's here because of Spice. Tokyo, you running this real shit. Oh, I'm real. I'm a real, I'm a real bitch. Da -da 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 -da. Real bitches don't sneak bitches. Let me tell you something. Let me put you on a game. Real bitches don't sneak bitches. Okay? Jenny from the block, New York shit. This is how I was born and raised. We don't sneak bitches. You have more than enough time, since you want to talk, you want to be popping shit. You have more than enough time to pop on Carly face to face. You were standing right there in front of her. You were standing right in front of Carly. You did not say, what's up? Square up. Get up. Nah, you talking crazy? Let's fight right now. You talk your shit? I'll give you that. You, had, you was popping mad shit. I give it to you. You had the floor. I give it to you. You walked away. Then came back. When shit, when Spice got up. Spice said, who the fuck you talking to? Right? Who the fuck you talking to? I ain't talking to you. A bitch tell me who the fuck you talking to? I'm talking to whoever wanna, whoever wanted. I'm talking to whoever wanted. If you feel like I'm talking to you, then I'm talking to you. I ain't gonna say, I ain't talking to you. When I got up and said, yo, this shit is boring. Like, we need to spice it up because at the end of the day, you know the edits go crazy. At the end of the day, you said, oh, why are you worried about it? You did say that. Why are you worried about you here with your whole man? And I'm like, don't worry about who's here with my whole man. Me and you started going back and forth. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not here for that. And and then, you know, I put it back a little bit or whatever. At the end of the day, for you to sit here and say, yeah, I'm trying to get my 15 minutes of fame. I'm trying to get my 15. I ain't got to have my 15. I don't got to talk to none of you bitches on the resort. And they still going to film me. You want to know why? Because I came with my own storyline. Which was me and my man. Okay? Which was me and my man. And for you to say that we was all clicked up, that's a lie. I didn't even... I interacted with Spice and them here and there. Like, I interacted with everybody else here and there. You get what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't all up Spice ass. I wasn't all up Cardi's ass. I wasn't all up Amada, Amada's ass. Watch the show as it is. You're going to see. Y'all going to see where I be at. What scenes I'm in. Where I'm at. Y'all going to see. I don't have to cap for nothing. And you know what else is so crazy? I ain't no hater. Let me tell you how I ain't no hater. When Tokyo, because she gets sent home. You know what I'm saying? She's going to watch me every Monday on the screen <laughs> for the rest of the show. Because I made it all the way to the to the last <laughs> performance, talent show, and perform my song. Bitch, you mad because I'm white feet. Don't be talking crazy. You ain't trying to fight me. 
Yeah, I did that. Um, so when she sits at home and watch the rest of the show, she's going to see that I'm not no dick sucker. And she said, the only dick I'm sucking on that fucking resort is Mr. Motherfucking PH. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like she's going to see that I wasn't clicked up the way he's making it seem. All I simply said was, let's have a little fun. Let's switch it up. If I can hear the crickets on the resort, like I said, but they cut that out. If I can hear the crickets and we on Jamaica on a fucking beach and I can hear the crickets, we have a problem. So whose side are you on? Who do you guys believe? Do you believe Tokyo? Do you believe Jen? I believe that there is truth in what both girls are saying. Um, I don't think that Jen was even trying to start anything with Tokyo. I think that things was just emotions were heightened and a lot was going on. I do, however, feel like Carly and Spice Nim was on some other type time. And, um, I do believe that Spice and Carly was low key plotting on Tokyo. Like in, I don't know. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. I can't wait to see how things play out on next week's episode. I hate that uh, Tokyo, like I said in my review, fed into the nonsense. I would have just ignored them and kept it the fuck moving because she got sent home, missed out on a check. Like, the whole thing is just very very unfortunate it really honestly is so let me know down below in the comment section you guys what y'all think about this whole situation make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button you guys i love you and i will see you on the next video bye